Gavin, in my office, now! What do you want, Chief? Detective, thank you for coming to my office. Your office looks a lot like the couch I sometimes record videos on. Quiet! You and I have a big problem. What seems to be the chief problem? Well, the chief problem is what I'm about to talk about, but it's created a lot of little offshoot problems. Dad, Dad jokes. jokes. They, they never, never get, get old. old. Now, a year ago, you did some pretty good detective work. You laid an old case to rest, and it seemed like you did your research. But I just got a phone call telling me that your so-called Vic was seen well and good up and about in a frozen food section of Iceland. And you already put someone away for this, damn it! Now I've got a stiff that's up and about, huh? an outdated report on my desk, and the mayor's up my ass. With all due respect, Chief, it was just some frozen fucking turkey. It wasn't just some frozen turkey. It was only 38% turkey. There was tons of other shit in there. You know what? I'm sick of this. Give me your gun. You're making me do this. Hand over your gun. Stop it. Stop that. Stop it. Stop. Stop touching it. Stop pressing the button. Stop pressing the button. Seriously, stop. Do. I'm not gonna tell you again. Stop pressing the button. Stop playing with the fucking gun. Stop. Stop it! Now hand over your N word pass. But my nostalgia... Hey! You don't get to use that word anymore. That's right. That's the, that's the word that begins with N. The one you can't say anymore. Nostalgia. That's the one you need the N word pass for. Not any other word. Just that word. Damn, Nick. <laughs>I just got let go from the bullshit made up detective agency. I'm fuming. So about a year ago, I made a video that documented the history of a much loved uh, British um, sort of frozen food product called Turkey Twizzlers. I happen to think it was a pretty good video. It's one of the only ones I didn't hate a week after I uploaded it. Um, you've probably seen it if you're watching this follow-up, but go check it out. Anyway, there has been a development in the case, if you will, uh, that I thought I would address in uh, a sort of update video. This video is going to be a lot looser. So yeah, as I said, I made a video about a year ago where I talked about a frozen food product that everybody loved, but it was discontinued from stores about 15 years ago. 15 years ago and a year after I make that video, they bring them back. What did I do? Be sure to let me know down in the comments about any franchise or product or anything like that uh, that you really loved but is no longer around and you'd like to see it make a comeback so that I can make a video on it saying how it is gone forever and it's never going to make a comeback. And then of course, then somebody will bring it back almost immediately afterwards, just to fucking spite me. I initially only learned that Twizzlers were making a comeback because of a comment on that video uh, by user Heather1987, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, who let me know that they've announced the return of Turkey Twizzlers. According to Heather1987, they came back into specifically Iceland stores on the 20th of August something I'll get into in a little bit. And the most notable thing is that they now come in two flavors. Now, one flavor is called original. However, d they describe it as tangy tomato. In my original video, I tried to describe the taste of turkey Twizzlers and it had been so long, I couldn't quite accurately remember the taste. I mostly described them as a sort of smoky barbecue. 
Uh, but I, I, I can I can think back and see, yeah, maybe they were more tomato-y. They also now come in chili cheese flavor, which sounds amazing. I'm not even gonna lie, that sounds really delicious. Thanks to an updated comment by Heather, apparently they also went into all other stores as as of the 7th of September. Now, I was, I was informed by uh, this user of the return of Turkey Twizzlers uh, just about a month ago, uh, and I replied saying that I would make an update as soon as possible. Clearly, a month is not as soon as possible. There's two major reasons that um, it's taken me so long. One of them is just personal life stuff. And the other reason is as simple as this. I haven't been able to get hold of any. So just to, I, I hate putting a timer on videos like this, but it is relevant and it will be relevant. Just to let you know, I am recording this and Twizzlers have been re-released during the COVID-19 pandemic. I did. I have been out to try and find Turkey Twizzlers. I went to Iceland. There's a big Iceland warehouse near me. The Iceland near me specifically has a Bernard Matthews section. It's just one little thing at the end of the aisle. And there was none in there. And I was like, oh god. The initial assumption is that they sold out already. However, it looked to me like they hadn't stocked them at all at the minute. It's a sort of very out of the way Iceland for one thing and another the just telltale signs there weren't people gathered around the section to look. It was only a couple of hours later when I got home that I realized the mistake I had made. It was actually the 17th of August. They hadn't even hit stores yet. So yeah, uh, that's that's how mushed my brain has become in lockdown. I have completely lost track of time and dates. But I did go back on the 20th and it was very much the same thing. Uh, there was no sign that they'd even stopped Turkey Twizzlers, that they'd run out. There was no empty section at the side where they, they'd just been cleared out. Now, I do know of a couple of other Iceland stores dotted about specifically within the city centre, which I'm not too far from. Uh, that I could have gone to, to do so would be, would require me to get on public transport. I, for one, am taking the pandemic seriously and I just sort of refused to get on public transport for such a uh, small reason as to go find a frozen food product, regardless of how much I enjoyed it when I was a kid. I'm sentimental. I'm not an idiot. Apparently, Apparently, uh, Turkey Twizzlers sold out within hours of hitting Iceland. I, I do, I do, I do attest to the fact that the Iceland near me didn't have, uh, didn't stock Turkey Twizzlers. There was just no indication that they did so. But apparently, the Iceland stores that did have them also ran out incredibly freaking quickly. That's one of the major things that some news outlets are reporting on is how fast they sold out. Another is the price. Iceland shoppers are fuming about the new £2.50 turkey twizzlers. So not even £3, £2.50. People say they're heartbroken after waiting 15 years. Can I just say something as someone who a year ago put on a costume to record myself for an hour and a half and then spend 30 hours editing together a video where I talk about nothing but turkey twizzlers. Can I just say something? Get a life. They're just turkey fucking twizzlers. After waiting 15 years, you weren't waiting 15 years. You haven't been sat on your couch 15 years like, they've got to come back sometime. Just know it. Can't really eat any other food until they do. <laughs> You've been getting jobs and fucking having relationships and, and having other hobbies. You're playing fast and loose with the word waiting and arguably the word heartbroken. I found this one really bullshit article and it's from The Independent, so I really don't need to say the word bullshit in that sentence. It's pretty much assumed. <laughs> The return of Turkey Twizzlers exposes Britain's unhealthy obsession with the past. But interestingly, he does note that they used to be £1.20. I didn't remember that, I didn't remember the price because I never paid for them, it was always my parents. So it used to be £1.20 for a bag, and people are really, really mad that the price has gone up. Yeah? That's how inflation works, get over it, cunt. I swear to God, people just don't pay attention to time, they get stuck in place. I work in a sweet shop, and I get people coming in and looking at bags 
all the time going, Oh, when I was a kid, these were 10p. No, the £1.20 a bag. Absolutely disgusting. Absolute rip-off. Yeah, that's because you were a kid in, in 1981. All right, dickhead, that's that's how inflation works. Did you not, did no one tell you that inflation is a thing? 15 years ago, they got discontinued from £1.20 to £3. That's, that's, that's a fair judgment of inflation. That seems, yeah, that seems right. Over 15 years, £1.20 would jump to £2.50. If it's too much for you, to the point where you, you get like actually angry, don't buy it. This isn't a necessity. I think this when people come into my sweet shop, sweets aren't a necessity. You're only buying them for an indulgence. So when you come in and you look at something and you're like, oh, five pound for these, I really wanted these, but the five pound, yeah, I really want a fucking Lamborghini, but I don't sit at home going, I don't have 250,000 pounds. If I go into a store and I see something I can't afford, you know what I do? I walk the fuck away, no matter how much I want it. If I can't afford it, I can't afford it. I get we have aspirations and shit, and I get that we, we want things sometimes that we can't have, but who are you getting mad for? Who are you getting mad at? The people who set the price? Well, that's the fucking price of the item. That's the price it costs. You just want everything to be afforded to you? What, do you want me to lower the cost of a Scottish castle to to £10 a month rent just so you can afford it. Fuck you. So yeah, they're £2.50 or £3. Fucking deal with it, people. So the rest of this article is this guy getting all highfalutin and pseudo-intellectual about how, oh, British people are obsessed with uh, the past. They would rather, uh, you know, stock, you, they would rather go crazy over something they loved from their childhood uh, than they would try out new foods. Now, normally I would actually say that potentially there's an argument to be had there. I know I make a lot of videos on the subject of nostalgia and my childhood, but I think it, it, it is very important to distinguish um, being nostalgic from being stuck in the past. If you're stuck in the past, you're constantly trying to relive um, things you love from your childhood and replace them, uh, replace that with um, you know, potential avenues for new possibilities. You can still love things and want things that you enjoyed uh, when you were younger. You might prefer older movies that you enjoyed when you were a kid over new films that come out or older games over new games that come out. But as long as you're still trying to stay, take steps to forward avenues that you want to be successful or happy in, like your career or your relationships or your location, that kind of thing, then you can healthily enjoy many, many pastimes or memory uh, things that you derive pleasure from the memory of. And he sort of alludes to this, but in a very pompous way. But unfortunately, Sam makes the mistake of making a generalization about society at large. Oh, society uh, right now isn't looking to the future. It would rather go back and have a slice of happiness from their childhood. They're really stuck um, in, the, in the past. It's like they're not enjoying the moment or they're not looking forward to the future. Unfortunately, when you make a generalization about um, society like that, you kind of have to take into account where society's out at at the moment you're making that statement. And might I remind Sam that there's a global viral fatal pandemic on? Don't you think this might be a little bit of time for leniency over people being a bit nostalgic for, for yesteryear, for even a couple of years ago? People aren't looking to the future. Can you blame them? So yeah, if you wanna uh, enjoy something from your childhood for a bit at the current time. Uh, I think now is the best time to do it. Don't let people like Sam make you feel guilty for it. Obviously, J Jamie Oliver was a big talking point in my video. Uh, I found an article from the Northumberland Gazette um, that asked if Jamie Oliver had, you know, talked about their return at all. Apparently, he hasn't made a statement, but to quote this article, other food experts have expressed doubt at the nutritional value of the relaunched product. 
The fact it's taken Bernard Matthews 15 years to reformulate the Turkey Twizzler shows what a truly terrible product it used to be, says Barbara Crowther of the Children's Food Campaign. Doubling the turkey content still only takes it to 67-70% to meat content, and whilst a healthier version of its former self, it remains an ultra-processed product. Taking it to 67-70% to uh, actual turkey is good. That's a good number. You're going to have other ingredients in there, that's that's what products are. There is no fucking product, there is no fucking product that you can go to a store and pick up and it can be like chicken breast and you look on the back and it says ingredients, chicken breast 100%, nothing else. Because they're still doing stuff to make it flavorful and uh, make it last a bit longer on their fucking shelf. It's fine, it's good. If you look at the ratings on the front of the box, they're comparable to chicken nuggets, or pretty much, or ki chicken Kievs, or sausages for that matter, which I touched on in my other video as well. The fact it's taken Bernard Matthews 15 years to reform it, it didn't. You haven't given any information that they've been working on reformulating it for 15 years. Maybe they just dropped it for a while, took a break. It might have only taken them like a year or two. They might have just thought, hey, we'll bring back Turkey Twizzlers very recently. And look again, I'm not out here arguing that Turkey Twizzlers are the pinnacle of health. I'm just saying there's tons of other food that are equal to the same nutritional value and they're not going to kill you if you have some every now and again. I haven't eaten them so I don't know how similar they taste to the original Turkey Twizzlers uh, and every time I've seen someone ask someone who's tried them online, so do they taste like the original? Um, the person has been very evasive because why wouldn't they? Human beings are pricks if you give them the option to either say, uh, well, I'll give you a straightforward answer and, and hopefully give you some information and make your knowledge base better and so you can make an informed decision if you want if if you want to buy this product or haha, I'm gonna take the high ground and be secretive. I'm better than you because I've tried them. Obviously they're gonna take this route because if you give someone the opportunity to have a high horse, they will fucking ride it. So I don't have a problem with the price, I don't really have a problem with the nutritional information. I have one issue with the new Twizzlers though. I think it is fucking irresponsible for Bernard Matthews to re-release a much-loved product that was discontinued that they knew would drum up interest and have people flocking to stores to find them during the COVID-19 pandemic and its related lockdown. You're going to pile this product into one section in Iceland supermarkets where everyone is going to try and crowd round the fucking freezer to get a box, even just one box, when we're all supposed to be keeping a two meter distance from each other and not breathing down each other's necks. You might argue that because a lot of companies are strained and desperate to stay afloat that Bernard Matthews felt the need to bring them back right now in order to drum up interest so they could sell more products because it's not, you know, maybe they're having difficulty doing that during the pandemic. And I can see how production might be affected by people having to be more safety conscious and stay, uh, have workers stay away from each other. However, if there's like a few types of products I could think are doing really, really fucking well during this pandemic, it's toilet paper, obviously, but also frozen food. What, what are you gonna be buying to stock up so you don't have to go out as much? Food that's going to last. You know what's gonna last? Food in your freezer. It lasts fucking ages. And Bernard Matthews was already specializing in frozen food. Even, even if you're not advertising massively uh, in posters at bus stops or uh, in TV advertisements, you know that when word gets out, it's going to drum up interest from, uh, you know, people who are deeply nostalgic for them and also have no self-awareness to not get in a crowd at Iceland around one fucking freezer. I know a lot of people might be like, oh, Gavin, don't, you know, it's fine. Don't be so niggling about uh, the whole pandemic thing. But I really wish more people were taking it seriously just to be a bit candid with you uh, during this video. And I, I do, I think, it, I think it's irresponsible. I just have to give my, my honest opinion on it. I think it's in, irresponsible to release a product you have to rush to a very specific spot to get during this time.
that's pretty much all I have to say on the whole thing. Uh, thanks again to Heather1987 for letting me know uh, that Tuck Twizzlers were back and um, as per their information, uh, from the 7th of September onwards, they should be available in more stores than Iceland. Again, I haven't been able to find any yet, which is a shame, as that was kind of going to be uh, the climax to this video. That was actually one of the reasons that put me off making it for a while, and I perhaps would have scripted it a bit more carefully. I'm sure I'll get to try some at some point, and I'll make a short uh, video again like a little taste test video maybe, and then just put all my Twizzlers videos into a little playlist. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I haven't got hold of any. I have tried a couple of times locally and within um, safe parameters to do so, but unfortunately it looks like I might have to go outside those parameters to get some, which I'm not comfortable doing at the minute. Doug Twizzlers are back. Jamie Oliver's keeping shtum. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a nice little... As I said, even though I think it's not the best time to release this right now, hopefully a little glimpse of happiness for those that have tried them in the current hellscape that is 2020. I don't really know how to end unscripted videos, and I've already tried to make a funny end like five times. This is like take five, and they're all shit. <laughs> Because you can't make jokes if you're doing it off ad lib. So, uh, have a have a pleasant rest of the day. That's it. That's that's all I got. It's it's nearly one o'clock in the morning. It's nearly one o'clock in the morning.